I think there's three elements to this. Uh, the first one is the financial uh, driver. If you look at the key uh, container shipping lines, the top uh, 10 or 15 carriers right now, the balance sheets uh, that these companies have are the, at their strongest ever historically. And the easiest way uh, to spend these excess cash would be to build more ships uh, to support their domestic uh, shipbuilding uh, industries. And that is going to put a lot of pressure on uh, the, the national shipping lines of these countries uh, to continue to invest. Uh, even at times when commercially it may not be justified. But I think the most important reason, the third reason is the competitive pressure, especially given how uh, big uh, MSC has grown in recent years. And in order to match uh, the scale that MSC has built, I think there is going to be significant pressure uh, on most, if not all, of the smaller lines in the top 12 list uh, in order to keep up with the rest of the competition.